Hello, my beautiful wildflowers. How are you today? Alexis here with Oat Modesty. Today, I have a review and first impressions on this palette by Nabla, and it is called The Poison Garden. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, please stay tuned. Okay, welcome back, my beautiful wildflowers. And if this is your first time here, welcome. And I hope you enjoyed the content. And before you leave, if you like the content, please consider subscribing and hitting like, okay? So anyway, um, today what I wanna do is I want to go ahead and work with this palette. It's by Nabla and it is called the Poison Garden. The reason why I wanna go ahead and share this with you is because I'm noticing that like at Ulta, I'm seeing these palettes on sale and they're very good palettes. Um, I've never used them, so this is going to be a first impressions. And so, yeah, but I want to share it with you in case it's really good. I heard that they are. And so that's the reason why I bought them. And, but let's see. And this is, I believe, made in the United States. No, it's made in Italy, actually, in Europe. And um, it is by Nabla Cosmetics, okay? And you can get them online um, from Nabla or you can go to Ulta and online or in person. And they do have these on sale. And so this specific one is called a poison garden like I said and I'm gonna go ahead and there's a sleeve and it pulls out and this is what the inside looks like and I just love the way this color this is like really beautiful the palette and so let me show you the inside and it does come with a you know sizable mirror that fills the whole um, top there and then let me just hold that back here and there you go and this is the color story okay and it does actually have you know different colors i mean i like it it doesn't stick to one theme and so but it does look like it makes sense to me and so this is what we will be working with but but before we do that you know what's up right what's gonna happen which is our empowering questions or our affirmation cards that we do on a daily basis and this is part of self-care and we have to do a little bit of self-care every day so i do try to get these on every video sometimes i may not be able to but i do try okay and so let's just go ahead and there's i think there's like 60 of them so i'm gonna have to like find another one because after 60 days i mean i'm gonna be running out of cards right and so i'm just gonna reach in here and oh this is a different one Oh, I like this one. You know, I say that every day, right, guys? Oh, I like this one. Oh, I like that one. But I do, I do. But this one you guys are really going to like. And I think, uh, Nisi, you're going to like this one now, knowing your personality, right? Okay. So, this says, I am allowed to say no. I am allowed to say no. Okay, let's see what is in the journal prompt in the back. And this is not just the journal prompt, but it is also questions that you should ask yourself. And so it says, how have I taken on more than I can handle in the past? And the second question is, what can I do to demand myself to not overfill my cup in the future? That's very good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hold this up for you guys in case you want to take a screenshot of it. And yeah, I mean, these are very good questions. And you know what? People, especially those people who love to get things done and who loves to be accountable, they really have a hard time saying no. They do. And you know what? I had that problem for the longest time, especially at work and also volunteering, right? I mean, I used to just fill my cup to the brim and it would overflow. So I would be working. I remember one year um, I worked for, let's see, about 10 to 12 hours a day and then I would leave and go immediately to my mosque and to volunteer and then I'll be home about 11 and I'm back up by four and I just really didn't have any time so I really had to learn to say no to some of these things and I even though I didn't want to so I did start to say no at work as well as you know to my volunteering because you know it was getting to be too much where I wasn't feeling really good about myself and I didn't feel functional so I did have to do that but it took a lot of work for me to say no because I've never done that I've always tried to accommodate people so for self-care it's so so very important you guys don't 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 burn the candle at both ends because that's exactly what you're going to end up doing if you don't learn to say no again the card okay keep that in mind and so yeah that's that this is a great card I really like that one so yep okay and so we'll go ahead and next one I say so a lot you guys does anybody out there write down how many times I say so in a video 
Oh my gosh, that's annoying. Sorry about that. It's annoying me now hearing myself. So anyway, so the next one. So again. <laughs> Okay, next what I want to do is what I do on a daily video as well, which is to give a shout out to one of my beautiful wildflowers out there. And this time, I know I've recently featured her, which is Cat Opens Up, but this one was really good. And this is timely because I did ask this question um, when I was making a video. And then so, and she actually gave me an answer, which is great. And she does have her own channel as well. So look her up, Cat Opens Up. And if I remember, I will go ahead and link her below okay and she does unboxings as well so this is what it says your eyes look fabulous today well thank you cat <laughs> i feel like amazon is the easiest for international giveaways even if it isn't the most unique you could also do something like a list of retailers and let them pick sephora ulta tart etc and include amazon as a choice so you know what cat i think that's what i'm gonna have to do because like i was saying in another video the international shipping is extremely expensive and I, I've I have sent out I'm like I said about a quarter of my winners are international and just for an example I just sent the package over to India and it's it was like almost forty dollars and it wasn't a big package and so imagine if I have a huge you know package for international giveaway for my thousand right subscriber because it's gonna be a decent one and it's gonna end up being costing more for shipping than what the contents are worth you know i don't know how much that will be so and also some places in the world they're they don't get the packages and yeah especially within a light of you know the covid and everything else things are you know not solid so yeah that's that i just want to put that out there so i will be looking at doing um the um gift cards yeah gift cards so that way it'll be easier and i'll do an online gift card so that way it could be sent to an email instead of shipping it okay okay that's that so thank you cat and like i said guys um check her out i'll go ahead and i'll link her below okay and so here we go the nebula donna 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 anyway yeah, this is really, really pretty and I like it. And um, I picked this one because something else that Corey said as well, you know, she said, you have things, um, you know, guess give us your thoughts on them. So this is, this is one of the things I'm going to do. So I will go ahead and start this. And first, what I will do is go in with my fluffy brush, which is my 15 ripper brush. And here you go. And guys, this is not dirty. It's stained. <laughs> so yeah i've been using uh, pigments and yeah, it stained my brush but i'm gonna see if i could go ahead and uh, maybe get some kind of a cleaner that may help so i'm gonna go ahead and first of all go with this one here uh i'm gonna have to get a glasses here so this is zen this color is called zen it's very pretty and i'm gonna go all over with my lids with this and i think this is you know what i normally do with colors like this and so let's see how, what it comes. Okay. Maybe not all over, but, um, at least up to the, um, right under the eyebrow. Oh, and I, I didn't tell you, I did set my, um, I, I didn't, what am I saying? Okay. Hold on. Let, before I get started, um, I'm all over the place today, guys. Whoa. I need to slow down, slow down, deep breath. Anyway. What I did was I did use my Brow Wiz, okay? And this is a medium ash or ash brown. Here it is, okay? And then I did go back to my Mario because it looks like this is the only thing I'm going to hit pan this year. <laughs> I want to hit pan with it, actually. You see, I use this color here, but the thing is, these will dry out if I don't use it. So, yeah, I decided I'm going to go ahead and use it before it gets wasted. So, yeah, that's okay because I do like it and... Yeah, so I figured I should just use it. And I'll, I'm, I might be able to use go all the way through it. We'll see. Okay, so here I go. And I'm going to go ahead and lay this down all over except for right directly under the brows, okay? And I can tell you right now there's a little bit of kick up. Not too bad, though. Uh, I'm going to see if I can show it to you. Not anything near um, ColourPop, by the way. You know, speak of ColourPop, I was so upset because I did actually order something from them. It was the um, eyeshadow that had the oat something. Um, and so I'm like, oh, hey, look, my namesake. So I ordered it, but one of them came broke. And it, when I look at look really closely at the eyeshadows the quality has changed and you know what i'm not going to order any more from them until you know they decided to stop like just 
you know, hodgepodging things together and just selling them and, you know, like really get serious with it because, yeah, they're putting out too much stuff and the quality is really not good. So, yep, let me just work this in. Okay, next I will go on with the 01 by Ripper. Okay, and this is kind of like a fluffy flat brush. And I think what I'm trying to do is I'm looking at my shirt to see, you know, what colors can I pick up from it. So I think I'm going to do something that has colors from my shirt. It's got a little mauve. It's got a little bit of darkness, like a dark purple, definitely a blue. So I think I'm going to go ahead and um, do my crease in a little bit of transition in this color. And uh, this color is called, hold on here, um, Berry Bite. Berry Bite. Okay, and so we'll go ahead and put that down. I'm just going to put in a little bit because I have a feeling this is going to be really pigmented. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just like, I barely tapped this on there. And look at this. And there is a little bit of kick up. And I'm going to go ahead and show it to you. Okay. There we go. It's that color right there. And do you see the kick up on it? So it's not too bad. Um, yeah. Like I said, it's not as bad as, um, ooh. Let's see how this is going to go on. Okay, here we go. It's not as bad as um, the color pop. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and work this up a little bit. Wow, this is very, very bright. And wow, and I really just tapped in there. I kid you not, I barely touched the um, palette. So, yeah, okay. And I don't want to go too high because I don't want to lose the other transition color. Okay, I'm going to top this way. And then, okay. And then what I want to do is try to um, start here. Because what I noticed um, about the, the way I do my um, lids is that I always get dark color here. Like, I get a concentration of color there that I can't seem to blend as easy. So, I, I'm just going to go ahead and try this technique here. And just start in the middle. So, okay. And let me just blend this out. Oh my, this is just so pigmented. And I only went in one time. I did not re-go in. And one thing I'm doing different today is you notice I'm going in deeper into my socket this way. And I'm just going to try this kind of look. Um, uh, yeah, um, I've seen a couple of looks like this where they go in deep here. You see, I don't ever come in here. But I'm going to see how I can get this look to work that way. But I don't want to do too much. But you see how... I mean, one dip, I kid you not, one little dip. And this thing is just so crazy pigmented. Yeah. Okay. Okay, next I'm going to be using my number 14. It's about the only brush that's not stained, which is going to change now. Because I'm going to go ahead and uh, go into this blue, which is called Majorelle. 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 Very interesting. Okay, it's here. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the corners with this. I'm just, I mean, I'm telling you, watch this. Okay, you see? I'm barely touching it. Look. Barely, guys. Barely touching it. And look at this. I mean, it's like so crazy, this stuff. Okay, let's see. Now, let's start from here. And I'm hoping that this works out because I wanted to uh, incorporate the blue, okay, into this. But I don't want to make it too crazy blue, so, okay. I was going to go ahead and do my whole lip blue and I changed my mind. Okay, and what I'll do is I'll do the same on the other side. This part is really hard for me because I know I take you guys out of focus because, um, yeah, my hand gets in a way and it focuses on my hand and not a... So I'm going to go ahead and do it like this so you can't see my hand. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and blend this. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to blend it on the outside, but I'm going to come in a little bit to the middle, the mid eyes. And so I'm just blending this out real quick. And I'll do this off camera so that way um, it doesn't take forever. I don't want you guys to have to watch me just pat my eyelids for, you know, five minutes. So here, and I'm gonna try to use a brush and see if it'll work. And I'm going to be using my Refer 21. Um, yep, and which is 
actually made for shimmers and <clears throat> things like that. So let's see. If it doesn't work, I'll go in with my hand. Well, my fingers, actually. So let's see. Let's see. Okay. Oh, okay. Actually, it works out pretty good. Wow. Okay, I'm impressed. Yeah, I, I really like this um, palette. I mean, it's so easy to use. Oh, my God, look at this. The color just is, like, really nice. So, okay, let me just blend this out real quick. And with the same brush, I just cleaned it off. I think I'm going to go in um, to this purplish. And it is called, um, let's see, Craving. Craving. And it's this color here. And I'm going to pop that like in the middle and see if it'll do anything. Maybe, maybe not. It's just like way too much color now. But I'm going to see if I can because this is, I mean, it works on the brush. So let's see. Just want to pop this like right in the middle to transition the blue to the pink. Actually, that works. You know what? I'm going to take it. On my, ooh, these are creamy. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah. Yep, I think I'll transition that into the blue. Okay, I think I'm going a little bit long again because now it's shut off on me again. The camera's had to restart you. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and um, go with this color here. It's called uh, Canvas. And I'm going to go right, clean up right underneath my brow bone, which is here. It's called Canvas. And then I will go into my inner eyes with this white one here. Okay, that will be the inner eyes. And that is called, uh, let's see, Adoration. So, okay, canvas and adoration. I'm going to go ahead and use the canvas first. And the reason why I'm going with the canvas underneath is because it um, it's a uh, matte. <laughs> That's the only reason why. Okay, and I'll go ahead. This kind of looks like a banana color, actually. Looks like a banana powder color. Banana powder color. <laughs> okay, yeah, all right. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's see. Yeah, and then I'm going to go into the inner eyes using my teeny tiny brush, my refer number three. There it is, teeny tiny, teeny tiny. And I'm going to go ahead and pop that in the center, or not the center, but the inside. And I'm going to see if this is not too white, then I'll I'll kind of do it under the brows. But i got a feeling this is going to be bright. Oh, yeah. Okay, you know what? I think, could I do that on my, with my fingers? Let's see. My fingers are quite fat. And I, oh, this is kind of like, oh, this is like an iridescent blue. That's weird. Okay. It looks white, but it's like a purple blue iridescence. This is pretty interesting. Let me see if it'll show up on the camera because it's very iridescent. You see? But it's pure white on the palette. That is really weird. Okay, let's see if I can get it to, yep, there we go. You see that? That inside? Hmm. I'm going to see if I can pick up some under brush here. I don't want to ruin the color by sticking my finger all in there. So, okay. Oh. Very interesting. Oh, I like this palette. Wow. You could do so much with it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go off camera and put on the rest of my makeup. And I'll come back and tell you what I feel about this palette. Okay, so I'll be right back. Ta-da! Here's a finished look. So what do you think? And so let me tell you what I did off camera. So I did go ahead and put on the foundation by Huda Beauty. And I really like Huda Beauty uh, when my skin feels really dry and parched. And because I'm fasting and I'm not getting in a lot of fluids, my skin seems a little dry lately. And so I always like to use something with a lot of moisture. And Huda Beauty is it. And even though this claims to be a transfer proof um, foundation, it, I don't find that to be true. And that's easy to check as far as, you know, you wear a mask and you take it off and there's definitely some um, foundation in there but actually you know it's not too bad it's not as bad as some of the serum foundations okay and that's that and next what I did was oh well, let's go back to the eyes and um, finish off what I did I did use the 24 7 oh no this is by Milani state put <laughs> okay 
I thought it was 24-7, but it's uh, Milani. It's the state put um, eyeliner, gel eyeliner. And I did run along the top and then on the bottom, the waterline. And I followed it up using a brush uh, like so, this brush here. And used the color to match, which is the this one here, okay? The same one that I use for all over my eyes. And so I did follow it on the bottom, so that way I did that. And then um, I did something different today, guys. Something different. As far as the mascara, instead of using my waterproof mascara, I did use my Pat McGrath, the Fetish Eyes mascara. This actually came in one of our boxes. And so I did use it. And so, yeah, I mean, it's really nice. I don't know if you noticed. It's almost like I have false eyelashes on. It's so thick, you know? I mean, take a look. I mean, I really love this. I wish they would come in waterproof, though. Yeah. And so that's that. And then I think that's it for the eyes, yes? Yes. And then as far as my um, cheeks, I did use the Cheek Stars. Okay, I used all, everything in here. Not everything in here, but everything I have on my cheeks is from here. And so let me go ahead and tell you what it is. Let me get the color saver here. I did use um, Dallas. Okay, I like this light color for all over my face to warm it up a little bit. I didn't need to warm it up too much because the uh, Huda Beauty um, is a little bit tan and I like it. And then I use this blush for my cheeks. And then I use this highlighter actually for the highlights. So I did use everything across the top and a little touch of Hula on like the top here. Okay, and but as you notice this highlighter and the cheek color is just like, oh my goodness, it's just glistening. I don't know if the, the camera's catching that but I mean take a look I mean every time I turn my head it's like ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's like a moon moonbeam you know and that's what it reminds me of so yeah that's that and so I did use that and so as far as my lips I did not line it but I did use a balm type of lipstick and it's this one here by uh, Pat McGrath and here it is it's very balmy and I really like it because it's you know it's a soft color and but it's oh so nourishing and so rich and mm, yeah so nice and I didn't want to do too much color on my lips because my eyes has got a lot of color so I try to balance my face when I do this type of makeup and so take a look and tell me what you think about it and I'm gonna tell you what I thought about the palette I love this palette you know if all of the uh, Nabila no, no Nabla Nabla is like this I'm yeah I'm gonna love it because I do have like four of their palettes and I really haven't had the chance to use it and I'm so glad I did because oh my gosh it was so easy to work and very highly pigmented with minimal uh kick up and the thing with uh, as far as fallout I had no fallout which was surprising because I thought for sure the shimmer when I packed it on there that I would get something so <clears throat> excuse me sorry about that and so what I did do was, um, remember, I used a lot of the shades here. And so I used this blue here. I used this pink here. Uh, this, uh, no, this plum, I guess. I guess this would be like a, what was it called? Berry? Yeah, Berry Bite. Yeah, Berry Bite. And also uh, the blue one was called Measure, Measure, Major Bell, Major L, Major L. It's spelled M A J O R, like Major L E L L E, Major L. So, yep. And then also Rosita. And I used um, Zin. And so I used a lot of colors on this palette, and I really like it. And they all blend it perfectly well together and beautifully and this actually is a very easy palette to work with and i especially uh, enjoy this color here where it doesn't it looks white right well but it's iridescent and that's what i have on the inside of my eyes here okay and um, but yeah minimal kick up no fallout highly pigmented and the price point in these palettes are not like really surprising i think i i paid maybe 39 for this but it would i think it's 39 for this one but um i was on sale that's the thing it's usually on sale at ulta and it's not a, i don't know is it a well-known brand i really didn't know about it until they were on sale and i said oh it's made in america or in italy i'm sorry it's made in italy so i'm gonna go ahead and get it and see but i'll tell you the formula in this is so nice the um mattes are very creamy 
and the shimmers are even creamier than that. And, um, you know, I didn't try the, there is like a little bit of glitter one here, but it's like a, um, no, this is not even, this is a foil, not a glitter. Okay. So, but very, very creamy and love, love, love this palette guys. Very good. I think this would actually work out for, uh, beginners as well. And also what I could have done was use this like a navy color as a eyeliner as well. And so next time maybe I'll try that. But yeah, I mean, just, there's so many uh, looks that you can make out of this. I mean, even though I stuck with, you know, the brighter colors, which is this color and that color and this, um, you could even make a, you know, like go to work type of look with these beiges and brown and a warm color. So yeah, so I like it. It's, you know, five wildflowers, put it that way. Okay, so yeah, two thumbs up. And yeah, let me know if you've used this before or, you know, at least by Nabla and tell me what you thought. But like I said, go to the Ulta site. These are always on sale. And uh, there's, um, I think they have about eight or nine different palettes on Ulta. And also try Nabla site to see if there's anything there, okay? But like I said, beautiful. And will I buy it again? Absolutely. And I'm looking forward to using the other ones and giving you some feedback on that. So, okay, my beautiful wildflowers. I hope this was helpful. And I hope you like the look I created. And if you like this video, please hit like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hello, please subscribe. We have so much fun. Okay. So anyway, yeah, do try to subscribe if you can. And remember, I have a goal of 1,000 subscribers or 1,000 beautiful wildflowers by September 1st. And then I can kick off a huge giveaway. Okay. And so my beautiful wildflowers, thank you so much for spending time with me today. And I know your time is very important and very precious. And I just, I find, I feel so honored guys. I don't even know what to say. Uh, when you do spend your time with me and actually comment and give me dialogue. Thank you. Okay. So I hope you have a good day, good night, good week, a good weekend. Whenever you're watching this, but just remember, don't sweat the small stuff. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.